Hello, Vinyl Community, it's Matt here again, and it's, uh, it's been a little while, sorry about that, <laughs> as uh, some of you know, I mentioned in my last video, I've been moving house, uh, finally been moved in, I mean, it's been a few weeks now, but uh, I thought it was about time I started making videos again, plus it's it's taken a while to get the music room behind me, kind of set up and, and organized, and it's pretty much there, so it's going to be my uh, my kind of home office and listening area. Uh, there's a desk which you can't really see. It's it's right behind the camera, but and uh, yeah, I'll I'll show you guys the uh, the area. Let me move out of the way a little bit. Let me scoot over here and kind of see part of it. You know, I'll lift and I'll lift the uh, let's lift the camera up here. Let's lift it up so you can kind of see a bit better right there. So uh, yeah, if I uh, if I move out a little bit, move the chair back over. There we go. You can see it a little bit better now. So yeah, that's um, that's the loft right here at the new house. There's the listening area, very cozy. It's sort of funny. It's bigger than the camera makes it look. Um, it's a reasonable size. I also bought uh, new speakers right here. We got uh, there's one of them, nice Sony floor speakers. Those, those sound really good. And you might notice that something's uh, something's missing. Something's missing over here. That's the tape deck. I um, the tape deck's gone. I um, you know, I had to downsize a little bit, and I just couldn't justify keeping it. So, yeah, the tape deck's gone, unfortunately. But um, but that's okay. That's all right. It's uh, I still got the mini discs. In fact, that's a new mini disc deck right here, slightly upgraded from the previous one. And yeah, I reduced the number of records too. You guys might see I actually have like some gaps in here now. I didn't have those there before. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, there's still a little bit of organizing to be done. There's a few records, some in the box. And in fact, I'll show you guys a few of those in a second. Um, and then there's still some down here, which I'm debating whether to keep or not. I've still got to organize the mini discs up there a little bit better. But other than that, it's coming along. You know, I got the... I got a couch to sit on, which I had before. There it is. I mean, this uh, this couch came from the old house, uh, but I had two of them previously um, and had to kind of decide what to do with the other one. We ended up giving it away. I just couldn't fit both of them in here, unfortunately. But yeah, that's the new uh, the new listening area. So um, uh, anyway, let's, let's take a look at a few records. Uh, and I, a very uh, interesting find, which I'm going to show you guys right now. All right, so I know you guys want to see some vinyl, right? Um, now, I this was a, a big stack right here that I found on eBay. It's not my kind of music. Didn't know anything about this band. Um, but it was $7 with free shipping. And it, it was the strangest thing. You know, it's one of those eBay deals where um, you get sent an offer because nobody else bid on it. And it came, I thought, 7 bucks. I thought even if I don't like the music, which I don't, it's just not my thing, but even if I don't like the music, for seven bucks, I mean, I can, I can always sell it on or trade it in at a record store or something. So it's by a band called The Cryptics, and I guess it's like punk pretty much. Um, and it came with some sort of, you know, paraphernalia, like there's some little like pins like that. Um, there's another one. I don't know what that's about. Came with that one too. Uh, and oh, this is the logo for the record company. Um, and it's like a little patch it came with, and a big. I don't know what this is. I guess it's sort of a patch, but I don't know. I don't know what you what you would call that. But anyway, it came with that as well. And some like stickers for the record company right here, Pine Hill Records. And there's a bunch of 45s right here. Some of them are the cryptic, some of them are not. Or at least, I mean, so I know that some of the uh, LPs are kind of related to the cryptics, but anyway. Um, I don't know anything about these. Maybe somebody who's more into punk does. Um, some of the song titles are a little, um, I don't know, too risque to maybe show you guys. But, <laughs> but I, I thought, uh, oh, there's another sticker. Another sticker. Two more stickers that fell out. Anyways, um, another 45 here by, I don't know, Cathedral of Tears, I guess. I guess that's the name of the artist. Um, Acid Wash. 
I don't know anything about it. Um, okay, is this one, Wimpy Rother, Rother, Rutherford and the Cryptics. Jeez, there we go. There's a bunch, and these are all the same. Like, some of them, there's multiple copies, like this one. Um, these are all, like I said, 45s. Um, this one definitely has a couple of uh, interesting song, song titles that probably aren't, aren't suitable to show. Uh, and then there's a 10-inch record, Down by Law. Don't know anything about it. Um, it says it's on red vinyl, so I guess that's kind of cool. And uh, then we get into the 12-inch records. Um, this one is um, Infernal Diatribe, Admission of Guilt. Again, I know nothing about these. I just thought it was kind of interesting. And I'm pretty sure they're all punk, hard rock, that type of thing. It says it's on Ocean Swell vinyl, so it's almost tempting to open it just to have a look at the vinyl, but I'm not going to. Uh, and then there's several of these. This is um, the Cryptic's Continuous New Behavior. And, and actually, you know what? I don't. That, that, I think that must be the Cryptic's logo. I said earlier that it's the record company logo, but um, now I'm doubting it. I'm thinking it's actually the, the band logo. But anyway, um, yeah, Continuous New Behavior. There's a few of these. Uh, there's another one. Exactly the same thing. And there's another one that's the same, but this one has what appears to be maybe a set list in here from a concert. And Tino Valpa, who I believe was like the lead singer or something of the Cryptics, um, he's like kind of signed it right here. It says, uh, I believe this is Club or CNB maybe. CNB, some, you know, an acronym for some venue maybe that they played at. CNB 2020. So, oh, CNB. Continuous new behavior, C and B. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I guess he's kind of like I don't know if that he wrote that or not. Maybe, but um, and then there's uh, three copies of this next one, which is no uh, the third album according to the hype sticker, which is uh, Make Me Digital, and this also comes on a an ocean ocean blue splatter vinyl. In fact. Uh, there's a picture of it. It looks beautiful. It's almost tempting to open. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to look like. It looks really cool. I like the looks of that. So like I said, there's uh, three copies of that. And then there's uh, two copies of the... This one seems rather curious, but um, I don't... I've never heard of this person, and I'm going to butcher the name, and I apologize, but Sol Yager, Yagged, or Yagged, or Yagged, or I'm not sure. Y A G E D. You guys can tell me. Somebody will probably know. Uh, and Tino Valpa, so of um, the Cryptics, I guess. So Sol Yagged, or again, I apologize. Um, I guess he's a clarinet player. He's 95 year old New York City clarinet jazz legend, and he's returning with his first new studio recording since 1956 with the help of New Hampshire's 28-year-old Tino Valpa and 90-year-old um, vib vibraphone is vibra I don't know. Uh, Harry Shepard, who played with Soul in the 1950s. So it's kind of crazy. You've got these two older guys and this this young 28-year-old uh, guy rocking out with a guitar. <laughs> so there's two copies of that. Uh, you know, I, I did listen to a little bit of it online. It, it was interesting, actually. Um, it was interesting. And then this is the same guy, the Sol, uh, Sol Yagid guy. Uh, it might as well be Swing. And, but all of these are brand new steel seals, still in the shrink. Um, uh, and I guess they're all on Pine Hill Records. So it's, so it's more of a Pine Hill Records lot that happens to be that most of it is related to the cryptics. Uh, this was the first album. It's been re-recorded. It's his debut 2009 album, re-recorded in entirety by all original members. And I, I think the... I think at some point they had a change, maybe not of lead singer, I'm not sure, but the one or two band members they might have changed, and so that's why it got it got re-recorded. Um, but yeah, kind of cool. Uh, and then this one, this was the one I thought maybe I would like, I still couldn't really get into it, but I did give it a quick listen online. Um, it's by a band called Blind Seagull, and the, the album's called Pressure. The reason why I thought maybe I would like it is that it says that it's post-punk, slash cold wave so it's you know i thought maybe uh almost be like kind of like shoegaze type music but um didn't really get into it. i did give it a quick try uh, a couple of little moments i liked but probably not enough to keep it um and then this one again is acid was acid, acid wash must be the name of the band 
cage of reality. So there's that. And then finally, there are two copies of a live album, um, which again is, uh, yeah, what's the guy's name? Whatever, Rutherford, I forgot what his first name is, and it's coming up. Uh, Wimpy, Wimpy Rutherford. Uh, and the Cryptics live at the Dover Brick House, April 24th, 2015. So there's two uh, two copies of that. I don't know if it's on color vinyl or anything. I, uh, it says it includes a DVD too. Um, I haven't I haven't checked. Uh, it's just on black vinyl. I don't think there's a there's not a DVD. Oh wait, no, there is a DVD in here. There is a DVD. I can feel something. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, so there is. Yeah, there's a DVD right there. So that's uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So I thought that was an interesting collection uh, to get. I, like I said, I'll probably try and trade it in um, at a record store because it's not it's not my kind of music, and there's no point in keeping it for the sake of keeping. It. Even if even if I like the the looks of some of that colored sword vinyl, um, kind of hard to justify keeping it uh, just for that. But yeah anyway i just wanted to show uh show you guys the new music room and um the uh the recent uh oh shoot the, the recent finds uh for the cryptics and all that um so yeah i hope everyone's doing well i'm gonna start getting back into the swing of making more videos um now we've got everything set up it's a bit easier well it's easier on the one hand uh the one thing that's trickier is that uh my uh, my kid's bedroom backs onto the music room. It's sort of it's behind the wall, the other side of the wall over there. So I can't do it at night. It's going to have to be a, a daytime sort of thing where I can kind of take 10, 15 minutes out, uh, like at lunchtime or whatever. But anyways, uh, that's it. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Um, always appreciate all your comments. If you'd like to subscribe, please hit the button below. And until next time, bye-bye.